That's crazy. Yeah. So ch- chunky donkey off white phone which was the other one bro that you said? Uh, what did I say? Off white yeah. chunky donkey dunk low and Thanks. segment. And obviously I won the Dior lows in the raffle. Dior. Still- which raffle did you win? I entered the raffle in Dubai and okay. just one simple single entry and uh, I just got it. It's like the wow. best thing ever to happen in my life. <laughs> Never got any sneak on retail. Probably That's- was all leading to this. I was supposed to get this. Yeah man. Sneaker karma is a thing. Sarsh what's happening with your Dior's? <laughs> no, I got them. I got them coming in. Um uh, I think it's been unbelievable collaboration. Like just what they have done to have we buy jordan ones every week that are made in china for 160 dollars right now for me to finally have a premium jordan one that's designed in italy with the finest materials okay. that's basically they've used a neutral gray from 85 and cut the shoe exactly the same to have that kind of narrow cut um that detail on the swoosh you know to t- take the inspiration from the cal- and then that translucent sole which reminds okay. me a lot of the colettes uh, you know, yeah, yeah 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 correct exactly the same and it goes so well with that grey upper and dude honestly to be honest I can't wait to wear the shoe uh, I'm gonna save up money to buy a used pair like later you know yeah even I'm, even I'm trying the same because I definitely want one more where I don't have to think about it you know I so it's, it's, it's worth wearing as much as it is worth storing you know? it's, it's something you want to have for full life but it's also something that you want to wear it like literally yeah. wear it I, I, I think think that this is a great uh, it's a great summation of everything that Kim Jones has been doing with Dior. Dude. I think since he got to Dior, like it just generated like this whole new lease of life for the brand. Yeah, yeah, and true. Everything he's been doing since then, be it the Daniel Ashram collab or the Remova collab or the uh, Cause collab, has been smashing it. It's like he was just going in this crazy upward trajectory. Where do? Even the Stussy stuff that they did was who would have yeah, thought that, that's amazing. Thought that a fucking high fashion house like Dior would collaborate with like a really cool urban street label like Stussy, dude. It was insane. Soon enough, where do you guys think market is heading on these? This is what I really want to talk. KK's about. probably knows better. I would say. KK, what do you think? Like from what we've seen, like you know, we we're expecting a major crash and it didn't happen. I'm assuming because Dior. No, bro. Was- the crash, crash was never going to happen, and because it was anticipated. Which is why you have to control at the last moment and they are controlling the whole release pattern. But I absolutely don't feel you are going to see it below 10,000 for the highs at any cost. It's impossible to go below that. And for the lows also, again, I think currently it's about 8,000. There has been a few sales between 7 to 8K. But uh, people are holding strong above 9K. So I don't think, I think, you know, remember once we discussed, you know, generally that highs might be like 9 to 10K. Lows will be like 6 to 7K. So that I think still stays as probably in worst case scenario, but I don't think there's a downside from here, not at all, bro. Yeah, because I think the- now, now, nowadays, so many people are just so comfortable holding the pairs that it just doesn't matter. The whole pandemic went by, nothing happened on StockX, prices went up only. People are very strong to hold pairs now, so there is no desperation to sell. So that's the reason I think it's going to hold. There's, there's no point. I mean, expecting any downside. Uh, I think that eventually over a long period of time used lows you'll be able to get for between 4 to 6 k the pertinent question is when is the right time to buy from an investment perspective from a collector's perspective when should you buy i think september october october probably bro uh because i think by october most deliveries would have been made you know and uh, yes historically with any shoe you want to try and cop when most people have those shoes in, in hand. Correct. Right. When your supply is highest. Then so, and then after that, dead stock pairs will start drying up very quickly just because of the sheer demand. And you have to also realize, bro, well, out of like the very limited number of pairs, most of these pairs have got gone to people like me or other actors, you know, models, right. influential right. people, and those people don't really sell their shoes, you know. So, um, right. there's also that. Right.